Here in, you can start using V0 to generate your own UI. Get started for free at v0.dev. Join our Discord to exchange prompts, share generated UI, and discuss tips for using V0, the Versal team. And yes, I got access to V0, got this mail like two hours ago. And if you don't know what actually V0 is, I mean, what are you doing? Like, really? Why don't you even know that? It's like all over the internet. You go to Twitter and you find it. Now the question becomes what V0 really is. So it is basically a collaboration between ChatCNUI. If you're not familiar with that, then I just don't know what to say. But ChatCNUI and Versal. So basically it's an AI technology by which you can style your own UI components. So the components that you are actually going to use are provided by ChatCN. The AI is generated by Versal. That's the site, v0.dev. And here are actually some good examples. Like you can just give a prompt and the AI will generate you the UI. Like if I actually just click on it, a slick pricing page for SaaS. So this guy actually just kept this prompt and the AI just generated this. I mean, uh, wow, <laughs> I don't know. Cause like, it's actually sick. I can, I can actually interact with these buttons and select this. I guess you can select this. Yes, you can select this. Uh, there is a popular tag over here. And maybe I can actually go to something else like this one. You can actually interact with this button. So, oh, that's actually great. Uh, the color change is actually nice. Yeah. So let's actually make something. Let's say a chat page with a collapsible sidebar and dummy chats. I'm not sure whether dummy chats will be accepted or not, but we'll give it a try. So if I hit enter, it will just start generating and that's it. We actually got three options a b and c so it will just do three versions of what i actually provided and let's see what actually comes out okay so the number a number b number c all of them are working and seems like it is actually generating a dummy nice obviously it's actually gonna take some time because it's in private alpha so yeah it makes sense so i guess actually it is done uh, i actually do not like the color maybe we can make it to darker change it to dark mode now here as you can see the first version that it actually made it was v0 and now it is v1 because it's the like next version of that sample and it is actually ready and it was like less than 20 seconds or something like that and it actually kind of did a great job but it actually kind of messed up in here and maybe the border over here yes it was kind of messed up so the craziest thing about this is you can actually select this one which actually gives you the option of pick and edit so you can actually select this and you can actually select any of the components you want and you will be able to edit it individually. So I can actually select this, the whole component and I can just keep the prompt over here. Like let's say, make it dark, not a light themed or something like that. So I can just hit enter and it will just update the UI only for that component. And it was a huge success. It did work as I expected. This is the V1 version where it actually messed up and made it light theme. And this is a V2 version where we have the dark theme and when I hover, it just becomes light. Now I want to do some experiments with this one. Like I'm actually going to click over here and I'm going to add, add a section for the current, sorry, current user showing his PAP and username, let's say. Yeah, that should be good. Now I didn't mention what to add, but I want to see where it actually adds. Like I want it at the bottom but i don't know okay so it actually shows current user over here okay that's kind of odd uh i will i guess we'll still give it a try okay so we'll give it another try not with this one so i can actually go back to the v2 version and i can write a prompt on that one so i'm actually gonna write add a section at the bottom for the user name user image and maybe a logout button let's see what it actually does right now and this is what i actually wanted we have the user pap we have the user name and the logout button now the best thing about this is the code button we can actually copy the code and use it in real time in our applications so if i just click on it oh that was a great transition i didn't know about that <laughs> that's a, that's a great transition now we have the whole react component that we need for this code to work. Also, if we're using raw HTML and CSS, we have the HTML component too. Now, the best thing is, you do not even have to copy it. We can just use this command and run it on our console, and it will just give us this. That's crazy. Now, there is one thing I actually wanna do. 
first of all i'm going to make it a star because this is actually what i wanted and there was one code that it made it wrong and i guess i have to first make it change yes this one so make sure that you actually give this a dislike because it will help develop the ai better the thing that i'm going to do right now is i'm just going to copy the code for the react component and i'm just going to paste it on my project now we're actually going to make a new page over here so inside the app home we're going to make let's say um, chats and then a file called page.tsx and i'm just going to paste the code over here now here's the problem that you're going to see that it actually uses the chat scene ui as i mentioned so it actually auto imports the components from the chat scene library so it actually assumes that i have the chat scene library but i do not have so i'm actually gonna maybe replace this with my components so i'm actually gonna remove this i already have the next ui installed so i'm just gonna replace these components with next ui this one and there was an input right and that should be it but we also have another problem which is supposed to be here okay so we do not have this we're gonna make it icon only i guess that was the option for it and we should be good and now we can actually run this so pmpm dev and i'm actually gonna open my local server yeah so now i can actually go to the slash chats page okay so next we actually uses use client so we're gonna mark it as client components because there is no problem with that so we're gonna save it and it should be fine right now that is what I was talking about. Now, we have this weird effect because it was imported from next UI, but we have everything working, like the logout button, the notification button, the users, and everything just as you saw over here. They're all the same, and <laughs> it's crazy. Now, if you have access, you can go and experiment with this as many times as you want because I just loved it, and I'll be using it for my future projects, obviously. And I just wanted to share my experience about V0 with you all. And thanks for watching this video. I hope you actually enjoyed the component, like literally component. And you can join my Discord server if you want. Uh, we actually talk about web tip stuff, about like what I'm making right now, what you guys are making right now. You can share that on our server. And you can visit my site and you can hire me actually for any projects you want. Obviously, next year is related. And thank you, I guess. Have a good day. Peace.